welcome back everyone so windows 11 give you the advanced security which you can enable by going to the settings and looking for the windows security but while looking into this security you might have a question in your mind that what exactly these settings are and how exactly they are protecting you so in this video i will be clearing all your doubt i will be explaining each and every security provided by windows 11 and it's really important for every windows user that they should know about these kind of protection so without any delay let's quickly get started and here the very first option the very first security that you get is the virus and threat protection and once you click on it on the very top you find the scan option and if you click on it it gives you four different options the very first one is the quick scan and if you go with this option it will be quickly checking for any kind of folder and try to detect any kind of thread generated while browsing on the internet the second one is the full scan it take a long time to scan all kind of file because it will be checking all kind of files running application on your hard drive or ssd the third one is the custom scan where it will ask you that how exactly and what kind of files or folder you want to check and the fourth one is again very popular this is an offline scan and it's a microsoft defender antivirus and if you read about it it says some malicious software can be particularly difficult to remove from your device microsoft defender antivirus can help find and remove them using up-to-date thread definition so anytime if you feel that you have any kind of malicious software in your computer or you have any kind of malware program or any kind of hacking issues it's really recommended that you should go with this kind of a scan all right so now if you come back next you get the virus and thread protection settings and if you click on the manage setting here you get the very first option of the real-time protection so basically real-time protection means that you need to be protected when you are using the computer at any time you cannot wait for the scan to take place automatically and you cannot depend on the manual scan for example if malware hit your system windows defender need to be aware that a malware event is taking place and it can take some kind of action so real-time protection is basically doing the same thing in the real-time browsing and using your computer it giving you the real-time protection and it's always recommended that you should keep this option enabled then we have the dev drive protection and dev drive protection is a new form of storage volume available to improve the performance for critical developer workload and it is a part of the windows security and protect the developer drive on your computer so let me share some of the important feature that basically it provide like it help you to increase the performance efficiency it allow you to create a separate volume on your pc the dev drive automatically consider the trusted volume by the windows security and it is always available to anyone who meet the system requirement next you have the cloud delivered protection and cloud deliver protection work together with the microsoft defender to deliver the protection to your device faster than through the traditional security intelligence update so in simple word this is giving more advanced security against any kind of malware and threat you can configure your level of protection by using the new group policy management editor so if you are on a windows 11 pro version then you need to click on your windows search type gp edit click on edit group policy and here in the configuration box under the computer configuration you will be getting administrative template click on it once then on the right hand side you have to look for windows component double click on it and then you need to look for microsoft defender antivirus once you get it make a double click on it again and here you have to look for another folder by the name mp engine again double click on it and then you need to look for select cloud protection level and you can click over here this will bring up another box enable this option and from the drop down you can choose the protection level so if you want to enhance the security and you need more protection then you can go with the high blocking level and after that you can click on apply and click on ok and the modification of this security will be done so again it's recommended that you should not disable this protection and now next we have the automatic sample submission so basically 
if a suspicious or malicious file is detected a sample is sent to the cloud service for analysis while microsoft defender antivirus block the file and so you need to keep this on as this is a part of the process to detect and block malicious and suspicious content and you can read here it will automatically detect any kind of malware or any kind of thread and it will send to the microsoft defender to verify that file is a malware or not all right so again you have to enable this option as it is a part of the microsoft defender security then you have the temporary protection and this security help you to stop any malicious application from changing important microsoft defender settings so there are many applications that target security setting to change and so the tamper protection come in between to stop these kind of malware to make any kind of changes so basically what happened most of the hackers they know that there is a protection that is basically blocking them and they try to change that kind of security setting and there the tamper protection comes and stop that kind of malware to make any kind of changes in the security so again you have to keep this option enabled then you have the control folder access and this security protects your valuable data from the malicious application and thread such as ransomware so if any malicious application or program try to make any changes in the file or the folder then they get blocked and are displayed in the block history so you can click on here and make sure this option is being enabled and you can also check the block history that what basically they have blocked it okay so we are done from here and now if i go back then we have the firewall protection and i believe majority of you know about the firewall and network protection as in windows 11 it protect your device from network based thread by filtering the network traffic so basically it's a kind of a guard sitting outside the building or any kind of restaurant and only sending the genuine and authentic people inside the building or the restaurant and the windows firewall can be configured to block or allow any kind of network traffic based on the criteria such as the source and destination ip address ip protocol or source and destination port number so again you have to enable this option then we have app and browser control and if you click on it you get different kind of app and browser control setting the first one is a smart app control and a smart app control is a windows 11 security feature that is stop malicious application running on your computer a smart app control can only be enabled on a clean windows installation so once the windows 11 is being installed after that you cannot enable or you cannot disable it and next you have the reputation based protection and this kind of protection guard your machine against potentially unwanted application that is pua as this application can slow down your computer display unexpected ads or install any kind of harmful application so you can click on reputation based protection settings and here it give you different options like check apps and files and it will be checking for unrecognized application and file from the web then you have the smart screen for microsoft edge then it give you the phishing protection that you have to enable and it will warn you against any kind of malicious application or any kind of site now if you're not aware about the phishing uh, website so many people what they do they create a very similar page like google yahoo like a sign-in page and they send it to you and you think that this is a sign-in page from facebook or yahoo or google you enter your information and those information goes to these kind of people this kind of hacker okay so if you enable this option it will let you know that this kind of page is malicious it's a phishing page kindly do not fill any kind of information then it will give you the potentially unwanted app blocking so if you try to install any kind of application that is malicious or not safe then the application will be blocked and you will be getting the detail that this application is not safe and the last one is the smart screen for the microsoft store application that give you the protection against the application that you download from the microsoft store okay now let's move with the next one that is isolated browsing and this security secure a computer or network from online thread by confining all browsing activity in an isolated virtual container that is destroyed after each session this also provide you the malware protection for day-to-day -day browsing by minimizing the opportunity for malware or any kind of ransomware 
to access the user device and reducing the possibility of zero day attack and then you have the exploit protection and if you click on it it gives you different kind of security here like the control flow guard and it is a highly optimized platform security feature that was created to give you the protection against the memory corruption vulnerabilities okay so here you can make some kind of changes now basically what i recommend you keep this to default setting and do not make any kind of changes do the same with the data execution prevention force randomization for images that give you the protection against any kind of images and so there are many other settings that you need to keep it as by default then you have the program setting and if you want to customize the security of any program then you can add from here and then you can manage the settings and after that once you come to the home page again then you have the device security that shows the core isolation now we all know the core isolation that keep your device safe by protecting the windows kernel and windows kernel is the one that is the most important part of your computer if that get hacked entire information and entire file application will be hacked okay so this is a very important settings and you need to always keep this enabled and you can click on core isolation detail and enable the memory integrity option even if it's recommended that you should also enable the kernel mode hardware infos stack protection and once you enable this you can go and scan the computer and after that you will have to restart the computer so that the security can be properly enabled so keep in mind that if you need the entire protection then you will have to go ahead and enable each and every security that is being provided by windows 11 then you have the secure boot and secure boot is on preventing malicious software from loading when your device is startup so if your secure boot is being enabled that basically enable from the bios and once the security get enabled it will stop any kind of application once the computer is startup so let's say if you try to remove any kind of application that was malicious and you shut down the computer the next time when you restart the computer the security will be blocking that application to load automatically so again a very important setting security that you have to enable then you have the data encryption again if you are concerned about your data then click on manage device encryption and it will redirect you to the device encryption and it says encrypt data on this device to help protect from offline unauthorized access and if you enable this option and once it get enabled now you can go ahead and encrypt your drive using the BitLocker. now BitLocker is again a topic where different people have different kind of conceptions now personally i only recommend this option if you are really having some kind of important data or any kind of information that you want to encrypt then only go ahead and encrypt your operating system or any kind of drive if you need a detailed information about the BitLocker, i have already created a video you can check that video and after that you get the device performance and health so basically there is nothing to look over here the family option uh, i never used it uh, even i won't recommend you protection history you can check all the protection history that what things are being blocked what kind of application or files is being allowed you can check those status from here only so that's all guys for today these are the protection that basically you get from windows 11 and if you enable them all then you will be having the better security now after this i will be also creating a video that how you can enhance this windows 11 security to the next level so that you should have the best protection and then you don't need any kind of third party antivirus so make sure you subscribe the channel guys so that you can get the notification of the upcoming videos and if you found this video helpful then please hit the like and i see you in the next video bye bye